Hey guys, so this one's going out to Troy Sykes who uh, commented that he'd like to see me demonstrate the English calibration drill um, or the clock drill the way that I was uh, trying to explain it. So um, the purpose of this drill is to kind of identify and to learn what a small adjustment on the cue ball can make. You know, so many people, uh, if, you, if you tell them to hit top right, you know, the, they're going to go for 2 o'clock or 1.30. We're probably all going to go there because we know what a clock looks like. That's fine. But your clock and their clock might be two different things. And the radius of that cue ball, the radius of the clock that you uh, choose to hit at is going to make a big, big difference. So if you're using a one-tip clock, um, this drill should work for you on most seven-foot tables. Uh, you could probably actually use three-quarter tip clock on, a, say, a nine-foot table because the ball has more time to drift, and so it's going to uh, widen out that angle. Um, but find out what works for you. The most important thing about this isn't so much the precision uh, of being able to execute the drill, but rather the concept that if you want to get <clears throat> over here, you have a target. It's always good to pick a, a target on the rail that we're going to aim at, if you can see the target, uh, you're going to be more likely to be able to execute and get the cue ball where you're looking for. So the way we set up this drill, um, I'm going to demonstrate this here with that uh, one ball there. So what we're looking for is a half ball hit where the seven ball is the ghost ball. So if I was to look straight through the cue ball at the ghost ball, I can see half of the one ball and the other half is eclipsed. Another way that you can identify this is using the center of the cue ball through the center of the object ball and the shaft should be pointed right on the outside of this one ball here in order to be able to pocket that. That's what we call a half ball hit. There's a lot of times I talk about half ball hits. Uh, it's not only one of the most common shots in pool but um, the way that the balls react uh, when hitting a half ball hit it's very useful for defenses. There's a tip of the day posted on that, along with a whole bunch of other things. So half ball hits, uh, get familiar with the term. You've shot them a million times. Maybe you just didn't really put two and two together that that particular shot is a half ball hit. So um, in any case, uh, I'll try to demonstrate uh, this for, um, for you guys. Um, I would highly recommend uh, using the little white donut stickers. Uh, where those balls are that way uh, you're able to replicate the same shot each time and try to move the cue ball into the different positions and the way that i'll set uh, these guys up was just with a three ball target um, ultimately however you decide to go at it if you just decide that you're going to watch and see if the ball's heading towards the diamond that you're uh, choosing uh, to shoot at at that particular moment that's fine too as long as you guys are getting something out of it so We'll see how good I do with the drill. As you guys know, I don't like to edit, so uh, don't pick on me if I miss a shot here or there. The reality is, missing is reality. Um, we all miss. The pros miss, the amateurs miss, we all miss. So I choose to not edit out the bloopers and uh, to let you see this is what reality is. So enjoy. All right, so... 12 o'clock. This is not a likely shot that, uh, or a likely principle you'd be using for breakouts necessarily, but more so <clears throat> just to give you an idea of how to position the cue ball you know, if we're coming into a shot line, and this is the shot line we want to put a pocket pocket a ball over here in this corner, this is a pretty good target and gives you an idea of how much English you really need to use to get to where you need to go. One o'clock. Uh, you can also use this to identify 
if we've got clusters here and here, and this is the window that you need to go with, that's another purposeful use of this type of, a, of concept. Try for two o'clock. Just a little short, but I'll take it for the purpose of instruction. Three o'clock. So on that one, I ended up raising my back end, which caused the front end to dive. That's a common stroke error. So I'm actually glad that I did that because that just reacted as though I gave it five o'clock. It's because I hit too low on the cue ball. It's one of the ways you can identify your errors and make the adjustments. That looks better. That's a three o'clock hit. We'll go for four. So this would just be a slightly below center with right English. And again, same thing as I made that first mistake. where I hit a little bit too low and it caused me to come out here to where five o'clock is. That just means I need to come up a little bit. But you can see how those adjustments make all the difference. I think I've done enough with five o'clock. So, Troy, I hope this answered what you were looking for, and uh, thank you so much for following. Let me know if this helps you out. Take care.